Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to give you a quick tutorial on using BlocksCAD to make the Polygon Fun video that I did with OpenSCAD. Uh, so this is just a, a Blockly based editor. So it uses blocks to create code for the OpenSCAD renderer. In this case it actually uses JSCAD to do the rendering. And here you can see the code. If you uh, looked at my other video, you'll see that it's very much the same, only a few differences. And this is a graphical representation. Um, and all the blocks, uh, we're going to do a step by step walkthrough through all the blocks. So let's start with a new project. And we're not going to save this because I have it saved elsewhere. And we're going to start out with this. Um, we're going to start out with uh, the 2D shapes. One of the things that this is trying to teach is the relationship between circles and their regular polygon cousins. So we're going to do a, a circle radius of five, and then we'll, we'll render between pretty much each step so you can see what it, what it is. So this just generates a circle, and you, you can see the side facets. That's based on the default number of, of sides that JSCAD implements. Uh, but we want to create a circle with fewer sides, if that makes any any sense to you. And what you do for that is, let's see, we do set ops. Nope, I'm sorry, transforms, I think. And we pick sides. Okay, so this uses what in in the uh, OpenSCAD world is the dollar sign FN function or face numbers. So OpenSCAD and by 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 extension, JSCAD and BlocksCAD use um, faces to create a circle, and each one of these is a face. So now, when I click render, uh, guess what I'm going to get? I'm going to get a circle made up of comprised of three sides. And wait, that's a triangle. Yeah, if if you draw a circle around it, you'll, you'd see that it, it could easily circumscribe that, and that'll make more sense as we go. So. This is the object we're going to do all the way up to an octagon with with this one simple block set here. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is we're going to create a second um, a second triangle inside of this to uh, to create an outline of it instead of just the the block. And to create outlines of something, we do we use the difference command. Um, and the difference command is is in the purple set ops. I guess that's set op set operations, I guess they're saying. So you'll notice it's difference and it has the first object and a place for the second object, which is the what's going to be subtracted or minus from the first object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to drop that in the minus. Now, if you wanted to, you could add as many minuses as you want. So you can subtract many objects. They're all going to be subtracted from this first one. We're only going to do one for today. And we're going to make it a radius of four. And let's render that. And so now you see you have a triangle with, um, with the center missing. So the next, the next thing we want to do, this is a, a 2D shape. And I'm, yeah, so you can see if you look at it on, on direct on the edge, you'll see that it has no height. So it's only a 2D shape. So we want to give this three dimensions. And we're going to use that by a function called linear extrude. Linear extrude is found as one of the transforms. And you see it's down here. So we're going to pick that and drop it on. And we're only going to extrude it two, two units. And the way you can think of linear extrude is if you play with a Play-Doh set when you were younger and you push the Play-Doh through a hole, it, it extrudes the Play-Doh into a shape. And that's essentially what's happening here. And in this case, our shape is the triangle. So now we have a fully three-dimensional triangle that we created using the circle command. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to move it off this, the z-axis. And that's for, um, for later when we want, we're going to be rotating them around the z-axis. So we're going to use the translate command to do that. So you're translating it in the x, y, or z-axis. And we're just going to move it 10 units. So these are 10 grid spaces um, in the in the OpenSCAD environment. And you'll see that it's moved it 10 spaces over. Okay, the next thing we're going to do 
is we're going to create the uh, all five shapes and we're going to do that using a looping mechanism and it's going to be the, the they call it count uh, in FreeCAD it's actually called the for loop but count is great um, we're going to count from three to eight and we're going to count by one so not only do we have to count this is going to increase the number of sides so you see we have three sides here and we have three sides here and three sides here so we want to change the so number of sides so if I did it right now it's just going to create five triangles that are exactly the same as this one and you won't see a difference so instead of sides we're going to use a variable and it's the I variable and you can just drag the I right over top of the three and do the same thing again and that completes our looping. If we render now, we'll have five objects and they'll all be placed on top of each other. So you can see that's all of our regular polygons. So now the last thing I want to do is rotate them around the Z axis so they're all visible and printable. We're going to do that with the, with the rotate uh, transformation. I yes. So there's the transformation. And we're going to rotate in on the z-axis. I'm sorry, I put that in the wrong spot. Let's see if I can. So we're going to rotate within the count because we need a value to change each time, so we can change the degree it it rotates. So we're going to be rotating the the z-axis, and we need a mathematical ma mathematical function because it's going to change each time. So we're going to go into math. And we're going to pick a basic function and drop that into the Z and it's going to be and we're going to use the variable from the counting loop I and it's going to be times and then the number of degrees we want to rotate the object which is 60 in this case so what that'll give us it'll it'll rotate around the Z axis 60 degrees it'll it'll drop the drop the first um, object rotate around another 60 degrees drop the second one until they're all dropped until the loop is finished and what that gives you is all all six objects I'm sorry um, mapped out in 3d space so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have fun with BlocksCAD it's a great program you can get to BlocksCAD let's try to go over there it's blocks if I could type blocks CAD 3d.com and they have the exact same interface and you can you can edit you can edit on their interface um, it's the same as this this is their program installed locally on my machine so you can go to blocked CAD and do try it now and you'll get the same editor so thank you for watching my video please subscribe for more videos I do uh, I'm going to be doing more blocked CAD objects. I also do free CAD instructions, open SCAD, and I will be moving into um, more 3D printing videos. That's what this channel is ultimately going to be about: is is how to uh, print 3D objects, and and how to create them and work with them programmatically. Thanks again. Have a great day.